Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey using the Starch Solution and the principles of calorie density and I've lost 60 pounds in the last couple of years. I want to show you what I'm eating today as a super busy day out and about basically all day long and obviously you guys know I am bringing food with me. I bring food with me everywhere I go. It looks ridiculous to everybody but that is one of the main things that helps keep me consistent because I go out quite a lot um, and and if I don't take food with me and I leave the house, I will get hungry and I will end up trying to find something. There is nothing healthy to eat when you're out and about apart from like maybe some fruit. And that is not satisfying in and of itself all the time. Um, so I've got to bring food with me. And also I've now gotten to the point where I don't even like restaurant food anymore. It's like <clears throat> it's, it's I make stuff that's so much better than restaurant food. And also I just... The tiny portions don't do it for me. You guys know I'm a volume eater, so I need like really big fat portions. So if I go to a restaurant, I'll end up eating a thousand calories worth of food and I'll still be starving. So it just literally doesn't make any sense. And also bringing food with you saves loads of money, obviously. So um, my kids are upstairs with James and I have downstairs to myself and I feel like a free baby, uh, which is amazing. Um, but I didn't upload my YouTube video last night because I was so, so, so tired. I was like falling asleep on the couch. I was like, I've got to go to bed. So I woke up and came downstairs and I'm just, uh, I'm just uploading it now. But anyway, I want to take you through to my crazy, messy, weird kitchen. Um, and I want to show you what I am going to be bringing with us today. Um, we are going to Darlington. Um, some friends of ours are um, moving to Bulgaria um, in a couple of weeks and they're having like a big leaving party there. They're vegan. I'll be really sad to see them go, actually, because, um, yeah, we love them. We love, we love seeing them all the time. Whoa. Okay, so um, just being honest here, every single morning, the kitchen is still a mess from yesterday because we're very naughty and we don't clean our kitchen at night. So that's the first thing we do every morning is we clean our kitchen. So we haven't done that yet. So anyway, I apologise about the mess. You guys know, if you saw my video yesterday, I did a full, massive meal plan. And what I forgot to say is also... I know I'm sharing with you guys a lot of the recipes and a lot of what I do, but I'm going to be creating an actual meal plan that people can buy and have based on this week's worth of eating. And I'm very excited about it because it's going to be such a yummy week of eating. So if you can't be bothered to, um, you know, have a look at all the recipes and stuff, and if you just want all of these meals that I'm going to be eating this next week in just a simple meal plan, I'm going to be creating that for you guys. Hopefully it'll be out in a couple of weeks. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be cheap and cheerful so you can have it if you want don't worry about it but i i still wanted to share with you guys as many of the recipes as i possibly can on here just because like why not why not um in case you don't want to buy the meal plan in case you haven't got enough money to do that then yeah fair play um right so today is sunday um so this morning i know that i am slightly turning orange because of my carrot addiction and my sweet potato addiction however I still want some carrots. Am, am I looking orange? I just don't know. I don't feel like I am, but everyone looks at me going, you're very orange. Um, so anyway, my point is, I really wanted some carrot cake overnight oats. Well, to carrot cake, two minute oats. Um, unsweetened, low calorie density, fantastic. Bulked out with loads of good stuff. So I'm going to make that this morning, regardless of whether I should or shouldn't be eating carrots. Um, I made a chickpea tuna sushi burritos yesterday, which I'm going to... Um, Okay, I didn't film yesterday, but I'm gonna, I filmed this footage of me eating, of me making the burrito. So I'm gonna leave that right here. So go and check it out. Okay, so this is Amy from yesterday, but I have to show you this dinner because it's incredible. I wish I was filming today, but I just didn't because we were super busy. But I wanna show you what I'm having for dinner. Oh my gosh. Okay, obviously loads of purple cabbage. And then I've created sushi burritos in rice paper. And they're air fried as well. So this is epic. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm so, so, so excited. Boom, look at that. This is loaded with chickpea. Um, like mayo tuna kind of situation. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Okay, didn't those look incredible? They were the bomb, the flavor was it like the crunch because I wrapped it in like a rice paper thing. It was, mm, oh my God, it was so good. Anyway, I've got some chickpea tuna left over, so I'm going to have a salad with that. And then tonight, if we get home, 
I'll make a sweet potato doll. Maybe I should make that this morning. It depends how long I've got. If I can make it this morning, I'll stick it in the Instant Pot so that it's ready when I come home. Anyway, those are the things I've got going on today. I don't know how much I'll be able to actually show you off today because I am going to be like super, super busy because we need to leave the house quite soon. But I thought I'll take you along for the ride anyway. Oh my God, I forgot. You guys know I get excited about food. I apologise if you, if you don't share the same love for food with me. Um... And also, um, I know a few people like ages ago were like, maybe your energy is because of all the caffeine, like all the tea you're drinking. Well, I've been caffeine free for like months. You guys can still see the energy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so last night I made marzipan. I love marzipan with a passion. Um, and I made marzipan. I know in the last video I said I was going to do it then, but I didn't. I did it last night and it is delicious. You know, Rami always wants to help. Okay, so I want to show you what I have got going on. I'm super, super excited about it. So you guys know I ordered some cheesecloth for my yogurt. So this is hopefully going to be super thick and creamy. So let's try it out. I have high hopes, but I also have no idea. But it has released loads and loads of water. Look at that. Look at all that water. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously you get less in terms of volume, but maybe more in terms of tastiness. Oh, look at that, Rami. What is that? Is it yogurt? Do you have a little feel? Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that is super thick. Oh, my God, that's my new favourite way. It's my favourite way. Wow, look at that. So that is next level. Have you brought a spoon? Rami, have you got a spoon? <laughs> She's just gone to a drawer to get her own spoon. <laughs> Rami, you're a cute sausage. Yes. Oh wow. I am gonna try my hand at making like a cheese with this or something. Oh my gosh, look at that. Right, let's have a little taste. So I did actually leave this batch out for an extra couple of hours, more than I should have. Um, and so it is quite sour. So I'm gonna tone it back next time. Hold on, Rami, it's quite strong. Let mommy have a taste. Oh my god, that is thick and creamy though. Oh, oh wow. I'm gonna try make, making my tzatziki dressing out of this yogurt um, to have with my salad today. And I think that is gonna be incredible. <sighs> mm. oh my gosh. Is that nice? <laughs> you showing everyone your num num. Mmm, is that nice? <laughs> So Abe has actually made his own breakfast this morning. Abe, do you want to tell us what you made? Overnight oats. And what did you put in your overnight oats? Banana. Mm -hmm. Cold mango. Mm -hmm. Cold raspberries. Mm -hmm. um, loads of oats. <laughs> a little bit of maple syrup and flax. And almond milk. And almond milk. Is it yummy? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Massive, fantastic, <laughs> little <Beautiful>. Eve. <laughs> I do love getting the kids involved in making their own meals because then later on in life they can continue to do that. Okay, so we're just about to set off. In here we've got loads of stuff. I'm going to be doing sushi for the kids at the other end. I made a massive, delicious carrot cake oats. Oh my god, this is like really good stuff. No sweetener, absolutely delicious. Um, taking loads of other stuff like some leftover. Um, uh, marzipan that I've made, some plantain from the failed wrap experiment, and I want to show you, I'm having for lunch my tuna uh, chickpea salad stuff, so I've just got my salad in here, I've just made a quick tzatziki out of this really thick lovely yogurt, I've got my leftover chickpeas from yesterday, and I'm going to take some sweet corn, I've got some cucumber, avocado, and some tomatoes, so I'm not going to make it all now, I'm just going to make it at the other end, because we need to go. But anyway, that's kind of what I've got going on. Sorry, I didn't really show you what I made um, the carrot cake oat out of, but the kids were very, very squeaky in the background that I tried. So we're just at my in-laws at the moment, and I am diving into my carrot cake oats, which is absolutely delicious. I've got a massive batch, but I've just taken some photos in here. Um, yeah, it's about right. half 11, 12-ish, but I'm not super hungry. But um, yeah, I know I didn't have pack any veggies this morning. I totally forgot, but that's all right. There's carrots in here. We are back at home and everyone is basically asleep, which is not great because it means they're all going to be up super late tonight, but oh well. So we went to our friend's house um, and they put on a massive, like, lovely little feast. Um, they had, like, loads of 
um, like sushi and stuff that they made because they know that I'm like obviously like a healthy eater and the best thing that they do is a lovely sushi and they do it every single time I go over and I'm so grateful so I had like probably like a sushi rolls worth of sushi for lunch um, and I haven't actually eaten the lunch that I made and I took with me because I just haven't really needed it but it's like six o'clock and I am getting hungry now so I'm just going to unpack all of our stuff um, food wise and just see what we're actually working with and I don't know whether to have my lunch that I was going to have now or whether to wait and have dinner. I'm not quite sure, but I am going to be making a big sweet potato doll right now. Um, and what else am I making? Oh, yes, with some curried cauliflower. So let's go and do that, and I'll show you how I make it. Okay, so I've just diced up a little onion. We're going to whack that in and quickly water saute that uh, while I get everything else prepped. Okay, this is going to be a sweet potato doll, so we do need sweet potato. Now this is going slightly mouldy around the edges, so I think I'm just going to quickly peel this just to make sure there's no mould going on. But yes, I am having to move very, very quickly because my kids are fast asleep, but they're going to be waking up soon and then they're going to scream for some food because they're going to be absolutely starving because they had a lot of like snacky bits while we were out, but nothing like, they didn't really eat a proper like massive meal later on in the day because uh, they, they kind of wanted their lunch for breakfast basically. Um, if I was amazing, I would have definitely prepped this in the morning and put it in the Instant Pot ready to rumble, but I was not. I was a human being, and you know what? We stayed out a lot later than I expected, and it's one of those things, like, when we're out at other people's houses, it is sometimes, and if, like, especially if they prepared food, it is sometimes hard at that point to bring out your own food and say, oh, well, I'm just going to sit down and have this, because they've prepared food, and so you don't want to be, like, you know, rude. But I think the problem is, it's because I'm a massive volume eater, so they put on such a lovely spread, and there was loads of sushi and stuff, but you guys know me, I can eat a ridiculous portion of food. So, like, they put out enough food for, like, regular people. I am, like, a crazy volume eater, so I'm always going to be left hungry. Um, so that's, you know, that's on me, but I did feel strange about bringing out my own food. Um, so, and I could have eaten it in the car, but it was a bit messy, um, and, you know, just thought, never mind. So I am getting pretty hungry. So actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, put whatever I was going to have for lunch together right now um, and snack on that because it's just like a massive big salad and it's almost like a bit of preloading, to be honest, uh, whilst this dal is ready. And then I'm going to have a nice little bottle of dal. Um, so yes, that is my new plan. But anyway, we are going to slice this sweet potato up into nice little chunks. I have had a lot of orange food today. So uh, I don't know whether I'm going to regret that. I don't know how long it takes to come into effect when I'm going to wake up tomorrow like, you know, bright orange or not. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm actually getting really hungry. I don't have time to, like, put my salad together, so I'm going to quickly munch on these tomatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Need to keep me going. I would love carrots, but I can't. I can't. One day I might just accept that I'll just be an orange person. So I'm just going to whack in two frozen garlics and a thing of frozen ginger in with the onions to let that cook down. I have just thrown my cumin seeds and mustard seeds into a pan just so they start to pop like the other time I made curry. That's what I do every single time. And here I've chucked in my sweet potato. I'm just going to give that a nice little mix and mix. Then let's get some red lentils and a bit stock going in there. Um, and I'm also going to put in some um, turmeric and some coriander powder. Those are my faves. Um, so I'm going to whack that together and let that cook. I would add a couple of tomatoes, but I haven't got any. So I'm just going to go in with a tin of tomato. But Abe does not like the chunks in the tomato um, in like a curry or something. So I'm just going to quickly blend it up and then add that in. For my veggie portion, I'm going to be having a massive, gigantic head of cauliflower. I will probably eat this entire thing to myself because uh, I love cauliflower. Um, so what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to quickly um, quickly steam it. Um, and then I'm going to toss it in loads of Indian spices and stick it in the air fryer. Um, it's kind of like the one I usually do, but with Indian spices. And I'm not quite sure what Indian spices I'm going to use yet, but I'm going to wing it and it's going to work out and be delicious. I'm wondering whether I can still get away with using, using like nutritional yeast for the bread crummy vibe, but I feel like probably not. So I'm not quite sure. It might have to be less bread crummy than usual, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we had such a lovely time with our friends in, um, in Darlington. Um, and it is crazy to think that they're going to be moving to Bulgaria um, to like start a whole new life and stuff. And um, like 
the sound of that partially appeals to me. But at the same time, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I grew up living around the world. I grew up in like Ethiopia and Afghanistan and India and different places like that. So for me, actually, England is just quite special um, and just feels like home. So I don't know whether I would actually want to live anywhere else like full time. Um, obviously, I'm sure, you know, you get used to every place. But um, for me, there is something special about England. Um, but, um, you know, I love going, I love traveling and going on holiday and stuff. Um, and I think we are actually planning to go and see them in Bulgaria when they're properly settled like this time next year. So that would be really, really fun. Um, but yeah, it does make you think there's a million different lives you can have. Uh, and it's all about what you choose to do with your own life. And you can really do anything you want with your life, um, you know, within vague boundaries and stuff. But, um, but yeah, the world's your oyster. And sometimes too many options is scary. And I don't like it. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that gets overwhelmed with online shopping because there's just a million different options and they end up not being able to buy anything at all, um, which is why I don't buy clothes. Um, but yeah, too many options for me. I'm not, I'm not a fan. So I'm actually going to save these cauliflower leaves for a soup at some point in the next few days because I'm just going to do a big soupy kind of medley. I think these will be some lovely leaves that would otherwise um, be a shame to throw away. So I'm going to save these and then let's quickly build a salad because I'm hungry. Okay, so I did pack it up nice and cute for myself um, with loads of different separate compartments and stuff. But I think I might just have it in this Tupperware um, because no, no, let's move it to a bowl. All right. Let's be a normal human, shall we? This is me venturing out into my salad -y journey because um, I just get intimidated by salads. Yeah, I don't know if you guys feel the same way or not, but I feel like I just like struggle to put a good salad together. My mind can't think of different salad options. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's maybe all about the dressing. I need to adventure out into better dressings. Not better, I mean different. I mean different dressings. Okay, so I've got my chickpea tuna here, which has been sitting out all day. Mm, but it's still yummy, so that's great. Oh, now this beanie element is going to be so delicious and satisfying. If you guys don't know already, beans are fantastic for your health and incredible for weight loss. They're really low calorie density. Mm but they are satiating like nothing else. And long lasting sustainable weight loss is all about finding things that are low calorie density, but keep you satisfied. That is the magic right there. And I'll also chop the rest of my tomatoes and whack them in there as well, just cause why not? So I did make myself a really amazing. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Oh wow a super tangy, like creamy tzatziki with the homemade yogurt. So that is my dressing, oh my God, to die for. Mm, I think I need a splash of water though. Okay, this is my delicious feast that I've got going on here. So much goodness, of really low calorie density, but it's gonna be filling from the corn, chickpeas and the dressing. So I'm very excited to dig into this. Let's have a little taste. Let's see what we're working with, shall we? Oh my God, what a feast, what a feast. See, this salad does not seem boring at all. This salad seems amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. If I had any avocado, I would use that as well. But uh, I think my kids have eaten it. So sorry, I totally forgot to show you guys, but <clears throat> my uh, cauliflower steamed. So I've just put some uh, turmeric, some coriander and some cumin seeds in there. And then I wanted to have a bready crumb vibe, but I didn't want to use nooch, obviously, because I didn't want it to be cheesy. So I've just used some potato flakes, uh, which is what I learned from my potato reset days. Potato flakes are fantastic for like a breadcrumb thing. So anyway, I'm just going to whack this in the air fryer probably for about 10 to 15 minutes and they should be beautiful. My cauliflower is ready and nice and crispy oh my god this is going to be incredible let's plate this baby up even though i've had my salad i'm still hungry and i could be feeling like oh my god i've eaten so much food it's too much food actually if your body is hungry please listen to it don't feel bad eating a lot of the right stuff that actually keeps you consistent and consistency leads to long-lasting sustainable weight loss it's when we kind of try and like 
cut down on the good stuff because we think we are eating less and therefore we'll lose weight faster. That's when we binge on things or we eat things when we're out and about. And that's where we get into trouble. At least that's what I've experienced. So don't be afraid to eat a lot of the right stuff. Mm. Okay. And then I've got loads of my incredible sweet potato dal. Oh yeah. Here we have it, massive bowl of delicious goodness. This really didn't take that long to throw together and I've made loads of dal because we're gonna be taking it out with us when we go out to the beach tomorrow. Mm. Oh, that's so yummy. Mm -mm -mm. And this cauliflower is so flavorful. Mm. Such a great combination. Anyway, it's amazing. Indian food it does not have to be full of oil to be delicious. It's the it's all the spices and everything that makes it incredible. Well, I don't know what to do about my babies, but I might go and wake them up, or I might just leave them asleep. I might just have a bit of peace and quiet and enjoy my dinner. But it feels weird having peace and quiet. I don't know how I feel about it. Just not used to it.